Well, good morning, friends. What a joy it is to welcome you to worship this morning. I'm so glad that you're here with us. Uh, I hope as you are preparing for worship or have prepared for worship at home this morning uh, that you've taken a minute or will now to fill out the virtual connect card that you can find on the website where you got this video. Uh, that helps us to know that you worshiped with us. If uh, you haven't worshiped with us before and you are here now, we'd especially love to hear from you and uh, find ways that we can be connected even in this season. So I'm so glad that y'all are choosing to worship today um, and looking forward to worshiping with you. I have just a couple of announcements. Uh, I want to let you know that uh, your staff and leaders have been talking about the next couple of months and what they're going to look like. And um, we don't anticipate being able to gather in person for worship for some time longer. Um, but we're really excited about the plans that we're working on for uh, some new ways for us to connect with each other, some fun events. I hope you'll be watching your social media feeds and newsletters for the next few weeks as we roll some of those out uh, to you and hope you'll participate as you can. We have one new project for this week. Uh, if you are looking for ways to help out with the new mask order in place or going into place in Houston tomorrow, uh, lots of folks are gonna need masks. And so if you are able to make those, uh, either they're sewing versions of those and there's some no-sew ones that you can find videos and instructions for online. Um, if you're willing to make some masks, uh, we can come pick those up from you and we're going to be getting those to some of our partners who need them. Uh, Montrose Grace Place has asked for masks for some of their, uh, their folks. Uh, FAM could use masks as they do food distributions and things like that. Uh, we'll donate some to Wesley and to whoever else uh, that we work with needs those. We've had quite a few requests. So if you sew, I would love for you to do that. I don't sew. Uh, so I'll be glad to come to your house and pick them up off the porch and get those where they need to go. Um, so if you're able to do that, we'd love for you to get started on that this week. And as soon as you have some to pick up, uh, you can just be in contact with me or with the main office number and we'll arrange for someone uh, to come and get those from you. We are continuing to talk a bit about how uh, we have found renewal through St. Mark's uh, even in this season and in the last few months since the fire, I hope you've been following along in the devotional book that is online. Uh, you can get that through our social media or through FAM social media uh, or through the download in our newsletter or by subscribing to the email updates from FAM and then you'll get an email to you every day. Uh, but that has some examples and we'd like to give you some more. So you're going to hear from uh, one of our other members this morning about that. Hi, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jordan Wienendahl, and my husband Brad and I have been members of St. Mark's for about two years now. We found St. Mark's shortly after we moved to Houston so I could attend grad school and became immediately plugged into the community by joining the Forum Bible Study, which is an incredible group of individuals from all different walks of life. It made us really excited to get more involved in the church um, and the community at large through work with Martinez Elementary and Step Healthy Day. Something else that has been really impactful for us is how the leadership at St. Mark's is always looking for ways that its members can become even more involved in its community. And for us, it came in the form of Katie asking that we help with the planning committee of her revival of Epworth in Houston. And Epworth has really led to so many great relationships with other young adults who are also trying to figure out who they are as professionals and children of God across the city of Houston. And it was something that we didn't even realize we were craving. Over the past six weeks, our lives, as with everyone's, have been rapidly evolving. Um, and although we planned to move to Kansas long-term at some point, uh, circumstances came such that we needed to and could move quickly over Easter weekend back closer to family here in Kansas. But one silver lining throughout all of this is that we're still able to be connected to our St. Mark's family through the uh, morning and evening worship online and also that Epworth continues with virtual meetings on Tuesday evenings. We've been so lucky to have been part of the St. Mark's family um, because it's just so involved in the community that encompasses it and it has really formed what we will look for in a church community in the future. Well, friends, as we prepare our hearts for worship, let us pray together. 
Gracious God, we pray for your presence with us. Uh, we pray that your spirit would fill our homes, fill wherever uh, we are participating in worship, and that you would keep the bonds between us strong, even as we have to be physically apart from one another. We pray that as we gather this morning, we would have thankful hearts uh, for the good that we see around us and for all of the work that you are doing in the world, even in this time. God, we remember all who are sick and all who are caring for them, especially this morning, and all those who uh, are working hard to keep us cared for and keep the world moving. We give you thanks and ask that you would give us all servants' hearts uh, to be a part of this community and to be your people in the world. We pray that you'd guide us as we worship and that you'd open our hearts and minds to what you would say to us and how you would call us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 